Welp, it's time. I pulled the beauty out of the trailer. Before I did, I checked the radiator fluid level. And of course, I knew eventually this block was going to let go as it's all held together with epoxy. The radiator fluid was nowhere to be found. And it wasn't on the ground in the trailer. Put a pan on the floor, popped the drain plug out of the oil pan, and that's where all the radiator fluid was. I'm not going to get into details with this one. When, uh, when I, I'll, I'll show you the failure mode when I uh, tear this engine apart. Uh, what I got going now is what started this channel was me rebuilding this engine. And uh, people had been walk, uh, watching this from the start knew I was pretty frustrated because of the machine shop work I got done on this. I had a whole year in just basically fixing the crap that they did. But I digress. It should be ready to go together. I'm going to go check my notes. I think I left off on... Um, I have one more stoning to do on the cylinder bores to a finer finer stone. I think the the piston rings called out for that, so I just got to lightly hit that. Uh, cylinder heads, that's all that's all done. I had Roush go through that. Uh, I know that'll be right. I never get anything bad from them. Uh, pistons are assembled. They're over there in that corner now. I'm going to clean up this cam a little bit before I put it in. I got a little surface rust. Um, I have noticed, though, that it, that it seems that there is, like, concave in here. Um, I don't know how that would happen unless the bottom of the lifter was this way or this was designed so that oil would be trapped in here and it wouldn't wear. Um, Either way, there's no loads on this thing. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to see if I can put this in the um, in a lathe, and then I'll use some emery cloth and maybe stone to clean this up. So let me get into this. Let me get pop the head off of this. See how the bores survived being in the other side of the garage all winter. I want to put a kill switch on this one. I'll do a video on this um, when the switch comes in. Um, it's pretty simple. Any uh, modern car, you can do this too. But uh, that's another video altogether. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to use the Magic Jizz. This one's pretty bad here. And the reason I'm using this is the Nut Buster. I'm sure has got something in there that helps break down the rust. I should be done with this fairly quickly. I don't, don't think this is going to eat up too much of my time. Maybe two minutes a little. Don't get too close with this as I don't want my thumb to be pulled into this while I'm doing this. Okay, let's go to the fine. Let's see how it looks so far. Oh yeah, look at that. I got a little bit of rust right there. A little bit, of, a little bit of something. But I think this process is working. I can't feel anything on it. The setup I'm using to clean this up. So I'm starting off with some uh, 400. And then I'm going with Crocus Fine. And then um, hit it with a stone. You saw the one that I had done. I've started to clean up the rest of them. I'm having uh, really good results with this. So, uh, so off to it. I'm 
almost halfway done with this. Uh, almost done. It's turning out really, really good. Uh, just want to hit a couple of them that I don't even know if that's where or if that's just acid staining from old oil and this engine not running. It could be that. Uh, other than that, going good. A few more minutes on this and I'll be done with it. Okay, all done. That's night and day, huh? I dropped the stone from the from the process. I noted that in the video prior to this. I was having better results just with the crocus cloth. So cam's done. I'm going to spray that down with some WD-40, put it back on the rack, and I'm going to start working on the cylinder bores now and then cleaning up the block.